Hi, and welcome to another episode of Boozing with Boomers. I'm Dave, and I've been on a quest to learn how to make a great balanced cocktail. So please hit the subscribe button so we can go on this journey together. For the holidays, I always like to make colorful drinks. So today we're going to learn how to make my cranberry, cranberry bourbon sour. For a cocktail to be considered a sour, it needs three things. It must have a base liquor, in this case bourbon, lemon or lime juice, I'm using lemon juice today, and a sweetener, and I'm using rosemary simple syrup. So this checks all the boxes. This drink is not very boozy and not too sweet, but just right. So people that like all types of cocktails, I think will enjoy this. The cranberry adds a bit of tartness and the rosemary simple syrup adds a bit of complexity um, that makes this a really tasty and interesting cocktail, if I don't say so myself. The frozen cranberries look great, but also act to help keep the cocktail cold without any dilution. And they add a nice treat at the end to munch on. And since cranberries are a super fruit, this is also a healthy drink too. I use Wild Turkey 101 bourbon, which is a great bourbon for cocktails because it is affordable. So if you want to make a big batch for your friends and family, which I will be doing this holiday season, um, it won't break your bank, but also it gets people in the proper holiday spirit at 101 proof. So let's get started. This is a shaken drink served up with the Wild Turkey 101 unsweetened cranberry juice. And that's very important that it's unsweetened cranberry juice. And then homemade rosemary simple syrup. I, I don't know if you can buy this, but as you can see, it's a real simple thing of, and I'll put the um, instructions in the description, but it's one part sugar to one part water, heat it up on the stove until the sugar melts. And then you add, you can either do dry or fresh rosemary um, and let it simmer for a little bit. And then you're gonna have this beautiful, fragrant, simple syrup that will go in a lot of different cocktails including, and I can't remember the episode, um, but I make a pomegranate gin cocktail that uses rosemary simple syrup as well. So let's get started making this cocktail. Again, what we've learned in making cocktails is start with the least expensive drinks, at least expensive ingredients. Um, I'm just using a little bit of lemon juice. I, I figured out in, in putting this together that too much lemon juice kind of can overpower a drink, especially when you've got something like cranberry juice, even the unsweetened kind. Um, so these balance really well. So it's only a quarter of an ounce of lemon juice. Then we're gonna do three quarters of an ounce of the rosemary simple syrup. Then we're gonna do, hmm, tasty. Uh, then we're gonna do one ounce of the unsweetened cranberry juice. And lastly, two ounces of the Wild Turkey 101 bourbon. Then, as we've talked about in previous episodes, make sure to put enough ice in the, in the glass. You wanna fill it past the liquid and a little more because the key to a shaken or even a stirred drink is when you have a lot of ice in there, ice chills ice so it doesn't dilute as fast, but it still chills down your drink. So you're trying to do a balance of dilution, which adds a little water, but also chilling it down so you have an ice cold drink when it comes out. There we go. The other thing, um, it's funny, I was talking to someone the other day. The other thing you've gotta be careful about when shaking is make sure your tin and your glass are dry. Um, now, if you're taking it right from your bar, they're going to be dry, but if you're gonna make several of these in a, in a row, make sure to dry out both of them, dry the outside of the glass and the inside of the tin at the very least. Otherwise they will separate while shaking. And what we also learned during COVID and thanks to Omicron, we're gonna be talking about it again, is we shake for 20 seconds, which is the length of time it takes to sing the ABC song. So I will be right back. And then to separate the glass, never put it on your bar because you could easily chip your bar or even the glass because of the stress that can cause. Um, but once you have it properly shaken and properly chilled, and you'll also notice the frost that comes up on the tin. So you'll feel it in your hand that is getting to the right temperature and you'll start to get used to it. The boomer has to make sure to try some as well. Whoop, 
Well, that's not good. Um, let me, whoop, whoop, almost forgot the garnish, just a minute. I actually just, what you can do is you buy a bag of cranberries, throw them in your freezer, and then all of a sudden you have got your garnish ready to go. Oops, apologize, there we go. Now, let's see how I did. So I like this cocktail and I like boozy drinks, but I like this because you got that freshness, that tartness from the cranberry, but the rosemary simple syrup kind of tamps that down a little bit and gives you this other flavor that you will actually find on your tongue. So it's funny, I have a couple sips of this and then the rosemary just kind of stays there and creates an incredible aromatic in your mouth. So several people have had this and several more are gonna have them this weekend. So I've gotten good feedback. And so I hope you try this. And if you like it, please hit the like button and subscribe and subscribe so we can go on this journey with Boozing with Boomers together. Thank you and cheers.